Hey, hey, a brand new episode of the Happy Productive Podcast is about to begin. It's time to be inspired by simple and actionable solutions for you and your business. If you're an established entrepreneur or just laying down the first brick of your future empire, the mantra is the same. We will flip any failure into a positive and use it to our advantage. This show is all about turning coal into diamonds. With the right plan and mindset, anything is possible. I'm Jennifer Dawn, your host, business coach, and founder of Best Planner Ever. And I'm here to help you achieve all your ambitious goals. Success is closer than you think. Let's do this. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Today, I want to spend just a few minutes talking through retreats. And I have a point here of giving you some information about retreats because if you have been feeling stuck in your business and you're trying to get to that next level, but you just find yourself spinning wheels, putting out fires all day, or you're just like, I can't ever seem to get to that next level, right? I can't increase my revenues. I maybe have not been able to build my team, whatever that is for you, and you want to get to the next level, one of the things that I'm going to suggest is that you attend some kind of a business retreat. And you might be like, oh, why would I want to do that? I have so much to do. Why would I want to leave for a few days and go somewhere else? Well, that's exactly why. You need to get out of your day-to-day environment. And the benefits of stepping out of the day-to-day, going into a new environment will open up your thinking. It will open up your mindset. And it will also open up your ability to solve problems. Because so often when we are stuck in the day-to-day-to-day and we're stuck in the problem, we can't see the bigger solution because we can't get up and above it. But when we sign up for a retreat and we go somewhere new and we are surrounded by different people, a different environment, it just gets all that energy and stuff flowing again. Now, you can do this on a smaller scale, even day to day that doesn't require going away to a retreat. One of the places that I use is the barn. I'm a horse girl. I love going out to the barn. And whenever I have a big problem that I'm just like, oh my gosh, I feel myself. I'm getting so stuck in this. I just leave it alone and I take a couple hours and I go out to the barn. And when I'm out there, the world sort of fades away. I ride my horse. I get grounded. I get reconnected. And without fail, the solution to that problem will almost always, I mean, I want to say always, but let's say 99% of the time, the solution to the problem will find me because I put myself in a different environment. And that's what a business retreat does for you. One of the other things that it does for you is it requires you to make an investment, a financial investment, right? I'm going to spend $1,000, $5,000, $10,000, whatever it is on myself, and I'm going to go away to this retreat, and I'm going to work with other people. When you invest in yourself and you say, all right, universe, I'm going to spend this I'm just going to use $5,000. i am going to spend this $5,000 on me, my personal development. You are your best investment. And you are also saying to the universe that you are worth it. And the universe can actually trust that you are worth it and that you are willing to do the work and the good things that it absolutely wants to send to you, but it can't send to you because you haven't done the work on yourself, right? It's all going to start lining up when you say, I'm willing to invest in myself. You prove to the universe that you are in fact willing to do that work and the universe will send you more stuff because you have up-leveled your own personal growth, your own skill level. The other thing going to a retreat helps you with is being around other people. Every problem out there has already been solved. The only issue is that you don't know what that solution is. You have the problem, but you don't have the solution. So when you surround yourself with other like-minded people at a business retreat, you are able to put yourself in this like mastermind of what other people have done. What have they done in other industries? How have they solved the problem? And when you can see what other people have done, it's going to shorten your curve. So you're going to spend less time, less money, less energy trying to solve the problems in your business when you can see how other people have already solved them. 
social connections, right? Often as entrepreneurs, we can feel very alone. We can feel like the world, we're holding the whole world on our shoulders. We can feel like, you know, everybody comes to us for all of the answers. We don't always have all those answers, but we feel like we should. And sometimes that can feel like a very lonely road. Even if our family, our friends, if they're not business owners, I hear this a lot where they just don't get it because they're not a business owner and they're not supposed to get it. If they're not a business owner, they won't. Okay, and that's fine. It doesn't mean we don't love them, but sometimes they don't like get us and get what we're trying to do. And so when you go to a business retreat, you're gonna surround yourself with other business owners who get you. They get what you're trying to do. They get that struggle. They get the dream. They get the drive. And you don't have to feel so alone in the process. And that social connection, don't underestimate the power of people coming together to love and support one another. I can say that from our, we did a retreat in Montana, our unbreakable retreats. We did one in Montana in May. I'm recording this episode in August, depending on when you might listen to it. And we have a group text going from all the women who attended this retreat. And even after a retreat that was done in early May, I'm sitting here in August, and those women are still loving on each other, encouraging each other, supporting each other, sharing their wins. And it is a beautiful, beautiful thing when you get to be on this journey with other people that you like and trust and respect. Okay. The other great benefit of attending a business retreat is that hopefully the retreat is happening in a beautiful location where you can also have some time to maybe get outside, to go for a hike, to go for a kayak, to go for a bike ride, you know, whatever that is, because As business owners, we need that time, um, preferably out in nature, to get reconnected to ourselves, to clear our minds, to get out of that day-to-day hustle, and even just investing a few days at some kind of a retreat to give yourself some space and some room and time to breathe and time to think can be not only just therapeutic for us, but again, it opens up our ideas, our hearts, so that the solutions that we need will come to us and the vision will come to us and how to accomplish a goal. All that information will absolutely come to us if we put ourselves in the right environment. So if you have been on the fence, right, about like, you know, should I consider maybe going to some kind of a business retreat this year? I'm going to really encourage you to say, yes, get off the fence, go to a retreat. And if you're like, well, I don't know what retreat to go to. I've got one I'll tell you about in just a second. But you can get on Google. If you're already working with a business coach, you can ask them, hey, do you know of any good retreats? There are a lot of great organizations that offer retreats and you can find them all on the internet. If you just sit down and start Googling, you know, a men's business retreat, a women's business retreat, you can find them that are happening out there. And please make sure that you pay attention to the reviews, you know, speak with the person or people who are running the retreat to make sure you get a good vibe. Sometimes retreats will have a specific theme. Sometimes they're a little more general. So based on where you're at in your business, you may have something very specific that you want to solve from an in-person retreat and just really do your due diligence to make sure that that retreat is going to be the right experience for you. But if you've been on the fence, I really encourage you to get off the fence and take this step. And it's a really important step for your personal development. Depending on what stage of business you're in, and there's a podcast episode the fi- around the five stages of business, but depending on what stage you're in, if you're trying to transition from one stage to another stage, you're going to need that support. You're going to need that development. You're going to need that mindset. You're going to need that help. And an in-person retreat can often really and truly help you with this. Now, if you're like, okay, Jennifer, I want to hear like what retreats are you guys doing? So we do what's called our unbreakable retreat. It is a four day retreat where we combine business coaching with a fitness challenge. And the reason why we do this, you guys, it's such a beautiful thing. So on day one, we are generally focusing on clarity. You know, you can't get to where you want to go if you aren't clear about where you want to go. So we have to get clear on our outcome of where we want to end up. And we have to also get clear on the roadblocks and the challenges, like what in our own mindset or thinking, what kind of fears or limiting beliefs do we have that are keeping us from going to that next level? So day one of our retreats is all about clarity and getting clear on the mindset and pushing past those fears, getting rid of those limiting beliefs. So that's what we work on on day one. Day 
day two is building your skill set. And this is where we are teaching and developing you and giving you the tactical information and knowledge that you need to get to that next level in your business. Day three, we usually do a planning where, okay, now we take everything that you've learned and we start to map out an actionable plan that's written down that you're going to take away, right? You don't want to go to a retreat and be like filled with all this energy, excitement and new ideas and here's what I need to do and then go home and not execute any of it. So day three is really about planning, making a plan that you have written down of this is exactly what I'm going to be doing in the next 30 days, the next three months, the next 12 months, and I have total clarity. I've gotten all the coaching support I need to get past myself, um, get the resources and support I need to actually go out and execute on the plan. And then we will often do some kind of business hot seat, meaning that you can put before the whole group, this is my problem. And you can get feedback from all these different people on the problem to be able to solve it. And then day four of an unbreakable retreat, we go out and we do a Spartan race. Now, not every retreat is like this. We're planning our, we're, we're calling it the tropical retreat um, in January of next year. So we're planning that one and it won't have a Spartan race. There will be some sort of physical element built in, but we haven't picked it yet. But for a lot of our unbreakable retreats, we do a Spartan race. So a Spartan, if you haven't heard of it, you can Google it. It's obstacle course racing. So you're going out, you're outside, you're on some kind of terrain, often a mountainside, and you're on terrain, you're going distance, and then there are obstacles. So they have you jumping over walls and crawling through tubes and, and walking through a lake and doing you know some crazy stuff. But the reason why we pair this kind of a race with the retreat is that you get all the coaching that you need, right? You get all that coaching and here's my plan and here's what I know. Now I know what I need to do. And then you go out on that course and you are outside of your comfort zone because you don't know what to expect. It is going to be fitness. You know, it is going to be a challenge. And a lot of people, when they go to do one of these races for the very first time, they don't have that confidence and a lot of fear is popping up. But then we help them through it. They do the race. They absolutely love it. Their confidence is just like skyrocketed. And what happens is this beautiful transformation where it's just like, hey, if I can go out here and I can conquer this physical challenge, then going back home and working on my business seems a heck of a lot easier, right? And so you have the confidence now to execute on the plan that you created during the retreat. So we take a slightly different approach to our retreats. It's called the Unbreakable Retreat. And if you have not attended one, I would certainly encourage encourage you to jump on the website, jenniferdawncoaching.com. And at the top in the menu, you'll see the retreats and just go to that. And you can see the retreats that we have coming up. So depending on when you listen to this, we have a retreat for women, which is going to be focused exclusively on sales, building a sales mindset, how to build a sales pipeline. So if you're a female in business and you're sick of wondering, where's my next client coming from? That sales focused retreat would absolutely be for you. And depending on when you're listening to this, it happens in in September in Vermont, in Killington, Vermont. And right now we only have two spots left for that one. And it's a max of eight people. So these are small, intimate groups. These are going to be your best friends by the time you leave this retreat. And the, um, the experience is just amazing. It's magical. And so that's our retreat for women. We have a retreat for men coming up at the very end of September, early October, that will be in New York. And, you know, I, in my heart, like I love coaching my male clients. Sometimes people think I only coach women. It's not true at all. I coach men and women. And in my heart, I'm just like, I want to help men. I love men. I want to help men. And so we are doing a men's retreat in New York as well. That's following that format of clarity, growth, an action plan, and then get out on the course and break some limits. The retreat that's happening at the end of September, it's very exciting. My business coach, Malcolm Reed, will actually be coming to the retreat as one of our coaches who will be coaching all the people who attend. And Lucas Crump, who is the founder of Everyman. If you're a dude and you're listening to this and you're like, wow, I've really been looking for a men's organization or a men's group that really is just a great organization, check out Everyman. It's spelled E-V-R-Y-M-A-N.com. But the founder of Everyman, Lucas, will actually be coming to our retreat and will be one of the coaches teaching the content 
the growth, all of the stuff that men need to be super, super successful in business and in life. And men, you guys especially, like you're just taught from a young age to you're not allowed to have emotion. It has to all be pushed down. You're supposed to have all the answers. You can't ask for any help or it's a sign of weakness. And all of that is just total bullshit, all right? If you can get past that and start to develop yourself, you are going to see success that will exceed your wildest expectations. If you can just ask for help and surround yourself with amazing people who are there to actually help you, plus you're going to make some, again, lifelong connections, lifelong friends with other like-minded men just like you. So the journey doesn't have to feel so overwhelming and so lonely. So if you're interested, of course, please check out our retreats. But in general, guys, I just wanted to give you some insight into why we even do a retreat and what those benefits are. So if you've been on the fence about should I or shouldn't I, I'm going to say you definitely should, but do the research to find the right business retreat for yourself and your business. Anytime I have ever attended a retreat, I have seen my business revenues increase dramatically because I took that time, I invested in myself, I did the work on myself, I executed from what I learned, and that's where those results come from. All right, you guys, I hope you found something informative and helpful in today's show. Get off the fence, go do a retreat. And for us, you know, if you're considering one of ours and you're like, oh, that Spartan race scares me, good, 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 good. That is the universe saying, step outside your comfort zone and go do something that intimidates you. And when you do, you will become unbreakable and unstoppable. That's why we call it unbreakable because you will become unbreakable. Things that used to scare you won't even scare you at all anymore. And we will be with you every step of the way to support you through it and you won't get hurt. I promise. Okay, you guys, that's it. Get out there and have a happy, productive day. I hope you found today's episode of the Happy Productive Podcast inspiring. Every successful business is formed by a set of small, consistent, and attainable steps. If you want to learn more, come visit us at jenniferdawncoaching.com to take your next step and learn how to meet your business goals. On our website, you're going to find free resources along with links to the life-changing coaching programs that have transformed the lives of so many of our clients, including the Coaching Academy and our Unbreakable Retreats. Many of them started their journey by listening to this podcast. That's it. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for our next episode. Mm -hmm.